Hey, what's up, everybody? Please hit that thumbs up button on this video. And what we are going to be taking a look at is we are going to be comparing the sales numbers, or you could call them current vintage figures, between the two products. And that is the 2022 National Purple Heart Hall of Honor coins, which went on sale February the 28th. And then the Purple Heart Colorized coin went on sale about a month later, and that would be March the 24th, 2022, compared to the sales numbers of the January 6th release, the Negro League Baseball commemorative coins. I think the numbers are stunning. The comparisons are stunning. And we're going to take a look at that right now. We are on the United States sales figures for the month of July the 24th, 2022, which as the recording of this video, it is the most up-to-date current sales figures. And what we are going to be looking at is we are just going to kind of stay on the Purple Heart. I have written down everything for the Negro League sales as well. But instead of bouncing between screens, I'm just going to stay on this one screen and we'll look at the Purple Heart and then I will tell you what the sales numbers are for the Negro League coins. And we're going to be doing apples and apples. So we're going to be taking a look at the one ounce silver proof, non privy mark, non colorized, and see how many of those they sold between the Purple Heart and the Negro League. Let's take a look at it. And like I said, in my opinion, I think it's kind of stunning as to how many they have sold between the Purple Heart and the Negro League. Let's discuss it. The one ounce silver proof for the purple heart was 43,610 that is the current sales compared to the negro league silver proof dollar 20,357 so this kind of more than doubles up the sales of the negro league one ounce silver proof dollar and then we get down to the colorized so we're going to pair the colorized to the privy mark of the negro league the product limit of the negro league was twenty thousand, where the product limit of the colorized purple heart was twenty five thousand. for the purple heart colorized the current sales is twenty four thousand four hundred and sixty six compared to the negro league privy mark 100 privy mark was eighteen thousand two hundred and sixty six now the privy mark is still for sale on the United States Mint website, whereas the Purple Heart Colorized has been at, remind me, I do believe for quite a while. I don't believe it's been for sale. However, I have not been looking at it. So I believe this sales number is missing 534 short. It's 534 short of the total product limit, which is 25,000. Clad proof, the United States Mint currently sold 20,428, whereas the Negro League clad proof is 17,266. So they sold about 300 more of the Purple Heart than they did of the clad proof for the Negro League. Next up is the one ounce silver uncirculated for the Purple Heart. The United States Mint sold 13,115 currently and for the negro league they sold 7688 so a big difference there really big difference that's why a lot of these numbers are kind of surprising me kind of stunning that they're selling way more of the purple heart than they are of the negro league commemorative coins so far so far so let's go on next is the purple heart clad uncirculated where the united states mint sold 12,032 where the negro league clad uncirculated the united states mint sold 8,000 928 so once again a pretty big difference between those two numbers and then the three coin set for the purple heart the united states mid sold 4,634 and for the negro league three coin set the united states mid sold 3,547 so those are pretty close in my opinion and then we get down to the gold. Now, of course, everything with the gold is going to be a lot less because it's a lot more money, a lot more expensive, a lot nearer audience when you talk about gold proof coins, in my opinion. The National Purple Heart Gold Proof, the United States Mint sold for the Purple Heart 2,471, whereas for the Negro League Gold Proof, 
they sold 1,391. So once again, it's almost kind of like doubling it up there. And then the Purple Heart Gold Uncirculated, the United States Mint sold 1,381. And then for the Gold Uncirculated for the Negro League, the United States Mint sold 1,210. So that's pretty close when you look at those two numbers. The only thing that's not on here for the Purple Heart because the Purple Heart didn't have one, and that is the coin metal set for the Negro League. So we're going to go bounce over to that real quick, and we're going to take a look at this. And the current sales for this coin metal set right here is 10637 out of a product limit that had 15000 Where are the remaining? I don't know. I believe this has also been at Remind Me for quite a long time. So where did the remaining of this inventory go? Are these returns? I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, that if something is returned, it's not supposed to be resold. So possibly that all the remaining of the 15000 product limit for this coin metal set was returns and possibly the United States may, can't resell those. I don't know, but to me, that's a pretty big discrepancy be from 10,637 and the 15,000 product limit. That's missing over 4,000 sets, right? Go over and just confirm that I'm looking at this, right? Let's go over to the Negro League sales and here is the coin metal set right there with the total sales of 10,637 with a 15,000 product limit. That is missing a whole heck of a lot of sets. Where are they at? Was there really over 4,000 returns of this coin metal set? Did they not have the planchets for these? I don't know. I'm not sure why we have the really big discrepancy between the 15,000 and the 10,637 that the United States Mint sold. I don't know. I think that is truly stunning. If you have not yet seen the Negro League proof silver dollar with the privy mark, I'm going to show it to you really quick in this video. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. Here you have the COA. Here you have the nice little fancy clamshell, which is kind of a rarity these days, getting a clamshell from the United States Mint. So there you have the proof silver dollar. Take that out of this clamshell, and we're going to take a little close-up look at this proof silver dollar Negro League 2022 commemorative with that privy mark right there under the knee. And I think a lot of people, their opinions are on this, is that privy mark is a little bit too small. And I do agree, but nonetheless, it's a stunning coin. Let me know what you guys think down there in the comment section down below. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, smash that thumbs up button, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.